Good afternoon, everyone. It's Bobo here, and welcome back to Bali Walk and Shops. In today's videos, I'm going to walk down to Discovery Shopping Mall, and this is one of the uh, biggest shopping malls in Kuta, and I heard it's going to be closed for good. Problem is, they don't make any business for almost two years now, and uh, I'm going to start it from this area, and this place is called Mata Hari Shopping Mall, and uh, the walk is going to be about 15 minutes. And uh, as you can see here in this videos, it's very quiet. So this is today's situation here at this shopping district, and there is the uh, Mata Hari Shopping Mall sign over there, and this is the uh, entrance gate to the shopping mall. So most of the shop here are shut down, but you still see some shop that are still open. And I'll show you which shop and restaurant are still open. The first one is this one. This is McDonald. McDonald is always open, but this time customers are only allowed to spend time or eat there maximum 20 minutes. It's all because of emergency lockdown. So we are still on lockdown right now. And one more shop here, this is, uh, uh, well, GR, GR Channel, and that place is open. Then one more shop here, it's called Billabong. Billabong shop is always open, it's never been closed. And then there is one more Actually, there are two more restaurants here that are always open and it's never been closed since the pandemic. And the first one is it's a Japanese restaurant. It's called Yoshinoya. And this is Yoshinoya restaurant. And this restaurant has never been closed. It's always open. Well, Let's take a look at the menu here outside. Ta-da! There it is. Sukiyaki set. To be honest, I have never tried this. I have never tried Japanese food. I don't know why. Maybe it's a little bit expensive for me. I'll look inside. It's, uh, it's so nice and clean. Well, let's continue the walk. And as you can see over there, there is an orange building. That is a restaurant. That restaurant is called Sandok Square. And that restaurant has never been closed. It's always open since the pandemic. But I don't see any tourists sitting there. I don't really see customers. And I don't know how it works. They have to spend money to operate the restaurant while there are no people, no, no business. It's, I don't know. Well, let's continue the walk and take a look at their streets. It's so, it's so empty. You can see there are a few bikes are passing. And it's really, really clean. I mean, it's, uh, no cars, no bikes, and over there is that is Benisari Street. See, Benisari Street is totally empty. And let me show you to my right over here. And this one, there's this is the uh, traditional art market, and this place is close. Well, everybody, here we are now. This is called Kartika Plaza Street. So this is the main street from airport to Kuta area. So this street is always busy because uh, it's a transport people from airport and to Kuta area. On top of that, there are so many restaurants, there are so many hotels and bars along the street. And then across the street over there is uh, Flapjack. The place is closed. Actually, in this building here, this big building here, they're all about restaurant 
bars, and uh, that's about it. There are so many restaurants and bars, and take a look at this. This is Fort Bar. It's called Stadium Cafe. This place is always busy. A lot of people go there for food. And there are more and more restaurants in this site like a Chinese restaurant, Italian restaurant. And this place is actually the busiest area for food. I mean, it's, uh, it's because there are so many restaurants on the, on the right side, on, on the left side as well. So take a look at the street, guys. It's really, really quiet. And uh, so Bluefin restaurant and Chinese restaurant. And take a look over there. There is a giant crab. Wow, this giant crab is a track, people. And this place is always full of Chinese. And you, as you all know, Chinese, they never come by. I mean, just like a couple or three people, they come with numbers, like 10 people, 20 people. That's why a Japanese, I mean, Chinese restaurant is uh, always busy. And then now I'm going to show you this hotel. This is a five-star hotel. It's called Legian Paradisio Hotel. And this hotel is opened. And this is the sign of this hotel. But uh, I don't really see a lot of, I mean, I don't really see people staying in there. But uh, it's keep opening. Well, let, let me show you. This is the uh, entrance gate to this hotel. To my right over here. And this is the uh, entrance gate. I don't really see people there. I can see their uh, security. And I actually, I saw there is one car just about to get out of that hotel area. And across the street over there, as you can see, is the number for uh, Kuta. That is uh, elementary school. So the school has been closed since the pandemic as well. So most of the students, I mean, all of the students, they study from home. And that's what we do this day. And so uh, this is a uh, Matilda sport bar. And this is, uh, this place is uh, busy as well. And wow, take a look. There is one person walking on the side of the street. And this is the first person I saw. And this is a uh, Julie kitchen. And take a look inside. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. There is a camel. I can see there is a camel inside of the uh, restaurant. Well, guys, let's keep continue walking. And one more thing. If you new here with my channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, like, comment and give us the thumbs up it's really meant something and the end uh this one they has balinese food it's a uh, very cheap 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 food it's called a uh, nasi chingo and this one they has uh this is a uh, hotel molasti beach bungalows to my right over here and this hotel has been here for forever. I mean, as far as I know, this hotel is here and it's never changed. And the building stayed the same, exactly the same. And this is the uh, restaurant. And this restaurant is a part of that hotel. And take a look at this restaurant. It's so mess. And... It's never been opened. Can you believe this? I want to say to you guys, most, a lot of business people in Bali are going bankrupt. A lot of shops are closed down. A lot of big business are closed down. That's what's happened in Bali because Bali depending on tourism and we don't have tourists for a 
long, long time, one year and a half. And it, and it's, it's going to be like this. I mean, there is no telling when it's going to end. And as far as I knowledge, the things is getting worse now. You, you know, Delta variants, it's more dangerous and it's bring people straight to the hospital. That's why, that's why there are more and more people are infected and most of the hospital were full and take a look at this banyan tree. Oh my gosh, I like this root. Wow, it's so nice. It's so cool walking down in between this root from the uh, trees. Oh, nice and cool out here. I really love this one. And then I want to show you across the street. Across the street used to be shop, bar, spa, beauty salon, tattoo studio. But now it's all gone because there are no customers. And they changed this to be a parking area. Take a look. This is a brand new parking area. But... I don't see any car, I don't see any bikes are parking over there. I still don't understand why they build parking area. There are so many empty spaces and and people don't feel it. I mean, people, they don't park, people don't really go out. Look at the street, it's so empty. Well, and take a look at this. This is a big mark. And uh, as you can see the sign there, it says coffee and kue. So coffee yes, means coffee and kue, it means snacks. So it means coffee and snacks. So this is the place, it's a restaurant. And uh, we are getting close to Discovery Shopping Mall. And uh, take a look at this one here to my left. And this one is a uh, restaurant, it's called Baba Gum. And this is the only one in Bali. Trust me, this place is so famous. Baba Gum was always full of people. It's always packed. And now this Baba Gum has closed. I, I think it's going to be closed for good as well. It's, it's never been open since the pandemic. So there are so many businesses are closed since the pandemic. So there are so many businesses are closed down. That is about Bali. A lot of people gone bankrupt. That's what I'm telling you guys. And take a look at this ATM machine. There are about 13 or about a 20 ATM machine in total from 20 different banks and there are still many of them are still operating i think there are about 13 of them are still operating and take a look at this one this is ari bar with a uh, big chili in front of the uh, restaurant and across the street there's it's a water bomb park oh my god take a look at those kids they're happily riding push bike well, well, this is really good fun. I wish I can do that. But I'm too old now. I'm not going to do that anymore. Anyway, let's keep walking, guys. We are getting close to Discovery Shopping Mall. It's the most, the largest shopping mall in Kuta area. And uh, one thing I want to tell you about uh, Waterbound Park is... Yes, this place is open. Waterbomb Park is still open, but I don't see any customer about security. So if you guys happen to be in Bali right now, you can go to Waterbomb Park. It has so many rides, and I heard Waterbomb Park in Bali is the best in Asia. See, it's so beautiful from outside. And I have been there twice. I really love it. So many rides, scary ones, so many slides, and so on and so on. And here we are.
finally I made it to this place. This is Discovery Shopping Mall. Take a look at this mall. Nobody, it's not open, it's very quiet. So this mall now, I would say it's a coast building. I'm telling you guys, this is a coast building. And uh, I'm gonna walk upstairs and I will show you guys what it looks like over there. And this is the sign, Bali Discovery Shopping Mall. And this place is very close to Bali Airport. I think it's about 20 minutes walk to a Bali International Airport. And this place is very strategic location. That's why it's always busy on top of that. There's so many restaurants around this building, not to mention by the beach, uh, beach front. So behind this building is uh, Kura Beach, straight to the beach. Well, I'm walking out now and I will show you guys this situation here at this mall. And ta-da! Wow, it's so empty. It's closed. And take a look. Nothing happened. I heard nothing. I can't hear anything here. No sound and totally empty. And that's why I call this place is a coast town. And you can see the road from here. You can see the street from here and take a look at the street. The street is also very quiet. Well, guys, I want to thanks to everybody for watching this video. Hopefully you will enjoy this and don't forget to share it with your friends. And please give us the thumb up and I will see you. I will see you guys in my next videos. So have a great day and don't forget to keep smiling.